Welcome to GEMIA's Heat Map Tutorial Video Part 1. Today you will learn some basic information about GEMIA's Heat Map, who it is dedicated to, how to start using it, and where the most important functionalities are located in the interface. Depending on the size and type of business you are running, GEMIA's Heat Map may serve you in several different ways. If you publish lots of information or promote products, it will help you best in quick positioning and frequency of material rotation. If you try to optimize or refresh your current page, use it for fast evaluation of the user's preferences. While working on the visual part, you can see directly on the page which elements are clicked and which are not. When launching a new domain, use GEMIA's heat map to adjust the size of elements, positioning of buttons and length of main pages. Get to know whether to hide or distinguish more particular links and finally try different A-B testing to see what brings more attention from your target users. OK, so how do I start using GEMIA's heat map? First, you need to install Mozilla Firefox plugin from the link we have sent you. When the installation is complete, in the Firefox browser on the right-hand side of your screen, you will see the grey GEMIA's heat map logo, which will trigger the toolbar. Then log in using the provided login and password. A menu bar will appear with a couple of icons and drop-downs representing different functionalities. Notice, you are all the time in the Firefox browser. The difference is, right now when you go to any of the URL addresses containing your script, the data will appear directly on the page. It is important to remember two things. GEMIA's heat map displays data almost live, with only 30 seconds delay in time, and the data is presented for given URL, not for the whole account. So what do the colors and numbers mean? The numbers represent how many times the link was clicked in a chosen time period, while the colors show graphically how hot the materials are, from red being the most popular to blue being the least popular. In the left upper corner, there are three drop-downs displayed. The first one is the module option, link map, click map or dynamic map. The second is a choice of a time period, and the third is the type of statistics aggregation. Next to the last drop-down, there are activation buttons. The first one opens the ranking window where you have all detailed information about the popularity of every link. The next buttons show or hide the color and value overlays. The chart button enables charts for each individual link, so when you go over any link, you will see a graphic representation of click history for a given time. Depending on the chosen time period, the precision of charts may be different. The camera icon is a button taking a nice and quick snapshot of your whole page instead of just the screen you are viewing. Then, on the right side, there is information about the last click performed on the URL, a dashboard icon, telling you the top 10 URLs from the whole account, report files to download, mailbox and logout button but why would anyone ever want to log out? All of these will be presented in detail in the forthcoming tutorials.